Hello, my name is Mike Sablon and I'm the Producing Artistic Director of the Warehouse Theater, speaking to you today from our lobby in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. Welcome to the Warehouse in Your House Gala Fundraiser. I'm excited and grateful to have you here with us, wherever you may be and whenever you may be watching. This event is made possible through the generous, sustained support of our event sponsors, Hainsworth Sinkler Boyd and Laura Bloom Fine Art, and of course you, our generous supporters. Over the course of this video, you will see performances from local actors, information about the warehouse and what we do, as well as firsthand accounts of how our theater has impacted our community over the last 47 years. The warehouse is upstate South Carolina's premier professional theater. We are committed to creating high quality work that is vital, diverse, and adventurous. We aim to inspire and challenge our audiences and artists alike through cutting edge productions that are not available anywhere else in the upstate. We provide a space to grow, experiment, and engage for everyone. Normally for our annual gala, we'd be celebrating in person here in our beautiful black box theater in the West End Historic District. However, because we put the safety of our artists, staff, and patrons as our number one priority, we have pivoted this fundraiser online much like we have with our productions and educational programs. Since we close our doors on March 15th, we have lost upwards of $400,000 in revenue, an enormous loss that we need your help to navigate. This video will show you a small glimpse into our theater and community, and we hope that you will be moved to visit warehouse.givesmart.com to help us survive this crisis. We are persistent in finding new ways of providing art and engagement to the upstate and beyond, but cannot do it without your support. I know a lot of familiar faces are joining us, and some of you have been supporters of the warehouse for the last 47 years, but I'm also excited about this being virtual, and that many of you who have not been lucky enough to visit Greenville might be hearing about us for the first time. The best way to tell you all about the warehouse is through a video produced last year by our media partner, Greenville's WSPA. Welcome, I'm Sabila Vargas, part of 7 News Carolina's family. Welcome to the Warehouse Theater, the upstate's premier professional theater, where community engagement and education complement thought-provoking theater experiences. Founded in 1974, the Warehouse Theater is committed to creating high-quality professional work through cutting-edge productions that are not available anywhere else in the upstate. The Warehouse aims to inspire and challenge audiences and artists alike. Today, the Warehouse Theater is Greenville's only fully professional producing theater, currently running a six-show main stage season managing regional education programs and producing the Upstate Shakespeare Festival in Falls Park. It's more than just theater, it's conversation, it's community, it's collaboration. The main stage season features six shows. The Warehouse selects productions with stories that are relevant to Greenville, challenge the status quo, and aren't otherwise being told. We continue telling these stories offstage through our community forums that encourage dialogue about the play's main themes, the local art featured in our lobby before each show, and even the local beer we serve at the bar. Held on the Wednesdays before opening nights, our community forums spur conversations about a theme from the upcoming production. Through facilitated discussions featuring expert panelists, we are able to foster constructive dialogue and bring the main stage to Main Street. For over a quarter of a century, the Warehouse Theater has presented the Upstate Shakespeare Festival, producing two Shakespeare productions in beautiful Falls Park each summer, completely free of charge for the public. The Warehouse Theater is not a community theater. We are a professional theater that serves the community. Our theater strives to be accessible to everyone in the Upstate, regardless of cost, which is why we have programs in place to lower ticket prices for all. We offer an I pay what I can performance the first Sunday of every production. Patrons pay what they can to enter the show. Young Professionals Night, the first Thursday of every production, you get $10 off your ticket along with a free drink. And Student and Education Preview, the first audience that will see our show with students and educators paying only $5. 
Each season, we reach more than 7,000 students, young adults, and community members with our education programs. Our flagship education program, This Would Know, brings expert teaching artists into the classrooms to break open the mysteries of Shakespeare. We offer a kinesthetic approach to activating literature that gets students out of their desk and on their feet. At the Warehouse Theater, we make Shakespeare exciting with our 75-minute professional touring productions of his most loved classics using original Shakespearean texts, making it accessible and alive while not talking down to students. Many times, students seeing these shows are seeing Shakespeare or live theater for the very first time. Warehouse Theater teaching artists and staff work with Bridges to a Brighter Future students by hosting workshops and tours at the theater and partnering with life skills and essay prep classes to increase student engagement. For the past several years, the Warehouse Theater has worked with Thrive, Upstate's Head and Spinal Cord Injury Center staff and support group members to produce an original play. This unique program works with adults that have suffered brain trauma our aim is to use individual survivor stories and experiences as the inspiration for our plays and inspire confidence in participants. In partnership with the Applied Theater Center, Warehouse Theater teaching artists work with young adults with autism who are specifically interested in theater. We focus on Shakespeare, with the program helping participants learn acting technique, social skills, and effective communication skills. When you donate to the Warehouse Theater, you're supporting locally produced art and education programs. As a nonprofit organization, our work is made possible by the incredible support of those in the upstate. Thank you for helping us be the region's preeminent professional theater by creating our intense, intimate, and unexpected brand of work. What you saw in that video does an excellent job of capturing the scope of our organization, and we are incredibly grateful to WSPA for putting it together for us. However, we want to go deeper into what makes the warehouse so special. Over the last 47 years, there have been countless artists on and off stage who have made the warehouse the theater it is today. A few weeks ago, we reached out to our local creative community and asked them to share with us a little bit of what the warehouse means to them. We are proud to share their stories throughout this event, and without further ado, here is the first video. Hi, my name is Ann Kelly Tromsness, and this is what the Warehouse Theater means to me. <laughs> I realize I've been recording all of these with a chicken puppet in the background. So uh, this is take like 42. Anyway, um... <laughs> hey, I'm Mimi Weich, and in 2011, I was lucky enough to play the role of Martha in a warehouse theater production of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. It was directed by Roy Floor, and the cast included Chip Egan, Deborah Capps, and Brock Kuntz. And I had been on the road a lot during that time, and I remember being at rehearsal one night and suddenly thinking, you know what, this is just about as good as it gets. I mean, here I am in Greenville, South Carolina, working with an excellent director, an incredible cast, a compelling and relevant script, and doing it at a theater that's really supportive of its artists, very supportive of its community, and that insists on not pandering to its audience with its programming. And it was just like, you know, you just can't get much better than that. It was just one of many times that I've been reminded of how lucky we are to have the Warehouse Theater here a professional theater that tells current and authentic stories about our human journey. I think we need to support the Warehouse Theater now more than ever. It's live theater at its best and most real. And so I just wanna say thank you, Warehouse Theater, and long may you thrive. The Warehouse Theater is my artistic home. And for me, the Warehouse Theater is coming home. The Warehouse Theater is home. And it's so funny calling it a Warehouse Theater because I consider them my Warehouse family, my Warehouse fam. For almost two decades, the Warehouse has been my artistic home. And as an actor and director, I've been fortunate to work on productions such as Eurydice, Sweat, Christmas on the Rocks, and The Crucible. 
The warehouse does the kind of work that I want to do as an artist, work that challenges me and challenges its audiences. But I have been fortunate to witness the impact of the warehouse theater well beyond the walls of the theater, well beyond the time that it takes for a performance to go from beginning to end. I've stood in the back of the Diana Wortham Theater in Asheville and the Sumter Opera House and the Peace Center and watched as middle and high school students experienced their first live professional production, a Shakespeare play put on by the Warehouse Theater Educational Tour. I've seen teachers inspired to new ways of, of teaching in their classroom based on a visit from one of Mallory Pellegrino's teaching artists and this wooden O. I have participated in discussions at the Warehouse Theater Forums where I've seen people from all different sectors of our town come together and discuss an issue that was raised on the Warehouse Theater stage that has resonance and meaning in our community. And I've stood with audience members in the lobby after a performance and cried with them because they saw something that resonated with their own experience on that stage. After Angels in America, I stood with folks who said, I was Harper, I was Joe, or I didn't know that these things were happening in my community, but because I saw these stories on the stage, I know I can't turn away from them anymore. That's what theater has the power to do, to connect us with each other, with our own humanity, to build empathy and bridges through the power of story. And that's what the Warehouse Theater means to me. Theater may be the last thing that you, that is on your mind uh, with all the stuff going on in the world, but there are very few people like Mike Sablone and Jason Johnson and the rest of the Warehouse staff. And there are very few places like the Warehouse Theater in this country. Um, so please, any, any small amount, it helps. Uh, let's make sure that when we could go inside and hug each other again, that the warehouse is still here to help perform and challenge us. Hello everyone, my name is Claire Rubel and I'm your Director of Corporate Development and Events. By this point in our usual gala, you'd be having a few drinks, perusing auction items, and getting ready for the incredible entertainment you can only find at the Warehouse Theater. You would be arriving in costumes and getting ready to see how we've transformed our warehouse into a pirate ship or a circus tent or a 1940s bar or any of the crazy ideas we've come up with. As much as we would like to be together in person, we are glad this gives us the chance to be together virtually to bring the warehouse to your house. And might I say, what a beautiful home you have. <laughs> So this year looks a little different in many ways, but especially for our big, crazy annual fundraiser party. But I'm here to tell you that just because we are online does not mean that the party has to stop. I want you all to pour a glass of your favorite beverage, to sit back in your comfy clothes, or if you put on a costume, more power to you, and enjoy the evening. You can also still bid on our incredible silent auction. If you visit warehouse.givesmart.com, you can bid while you watch. From Michelin tires to one week of children's theater, summer classes to a two bed, two bath Airbnb cottage to gas for a year from Sphinx, we've got it all. You don't wanna miss it. If you are moved to donate to the Warehouse Theater this evening, please feel free to click on any of the donate buttons on the side of this live stream. If you're watching on YouTube, we'll put the link to donate in the description of the video. Thank you all for your support. In honor of your donation, or to entice you to give even more, we are proud to present the incredible Thomas Azar, who Warehouse Theater audiences will recognize from Much Ado About Nothing, Pride and Prejudice, and Angels in America, performing a monologue from Shakespeare's King John. Mad world, mad kings, Mad composition. John, to stop Arthur's title in the whole, hath willingly departed with a part. And France, whose armor conscience buckled on, whom zeal and charity brought to the field as God's own soldier, rounded in the ear with that same purpose changer, that sly devil, that broker that still breaks the pate of faith. That daily break, Val. He that wins of all, of kings, of beggars, old men, young men, maids, who, having no external thing to lose but the word maid, cheats the poor maid of that. 
That smooth-faced gentleman, tickling commodity. Commodity? The bias of the world. The world who, of itself, is pays it well, made to run even upon even ground, till this advantage, this vile drawing bias, this commodity, makes it take head from all indifferency, from all direction, purpose, course, intent. And this same commodity, this bod, this broker, this all-changing word, clapped on the outward eye of fickle France, hath drawn him from his own determined aid, from a resolved and honorable war, to a most base and vile concluded peace. And why reel I on this commodity? But for because she hath not wooed me yet. Not that I have the power to clutch my hands when her fair angels should salute my palms. But for my hands, as unattempted yet, like a poor beggar, raileth on the rich. Well, whilst I am poor, I will rail and say, there is no sin but to be rich. And being rich, my virtue then shall be to say there is no vice but beggary. Since kings break faith upon commodity, gain be my lord, for I will worship thee. Hi, I'm Jennifer Oladipo, principal at Genoco, and more importantly, proud president of the Warehouse Theater Board. And I'm here to ask for your help. And I'm excited to let you know that your help really does have an impact. We know from the Metropolitan Arts Council that the arts bring in $225 million a year into our local economy. Statewide, that number is $9.7 billion. But we also know that the Warehouse Theater, since March, has lost over $400,000 in revenue. Now, the Warehouse is a place for artists, and so we're meeting those challenges creatively. The education program continues online, reaching students, supporting educators in our community, also reaching marginalized communities that use theater in practical ways in their lives. We've also got the online forums that are continuing so we can meet and have important conversations, open conversations that are really needed in our community right now. And I'm really excited about our first foray into producing an online show, which has been such a success, entertaining people in Greenville and around this country and even in other countries. So we know the arts are an important part of who we are and an important part of our community. And I really thank you for considering how you can be a part of that and how your help really does make an impact. I'm looking forward to the day when we can all sit down and enjoy a show together. And I hope to see you there. Howdy, folks. Hi. Uh, I thought I'd hop on here and give you my little clip of what the warehouse means to me. Um, <laughs> uh, I got nothing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you know what the warehouse means to me is um, I know it's a place that I can go and work or a place that I can go and see top notch quality performers and artists. Warehouse theater is a professional atmosphere that is run by professionals. People who have been honing their craft for years and you know that good care is being taken into the work that's being put on stage. That, that dedication is embodied by every staff member working there. I love Mike, Jason, Mallory, Jay, Claire, and Katie. Our new artistic director, uh, what's his name? Mark Malone, Mickey Stallone, ah, Michael Gambon. When I got out of college in 2007, I had no idea where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do. And the Warehouse Theater provided me an opportunity to volunteer and then to intern and then to design. I've gotten to do everything that I've achieved in my career and my life as an artist because of the Warehouse Theater, because of the generosity of the people who work there, because of their willingness to take a chance on uh, somebody from Greenville who literally just walked in the door and said, what can I do to help? The Warehouse Theater uh, gave me my first contract as an actor's equity artist, um, thereby 
offering me membership in the Actors Union, something I'm very proud of and will always be grateful for. I saw my first show at the Warehouse Theater when I was 16 years old. I worked as an intern there the year that I turned 19. I designed my first show there the year I turned 22. And I was really nervous, I was like 19 years old. I had never had a professional gig before and I just kept going back and kept going back. And the most wonderful thing about the Warehouse is like, so many of my formative experiences, both artistically, emotionally, happened here. I've been able to be a mom and a teacher who's also gotten to watch my students grow working at the warehouse. Um, a wife and I'm a daughter and I'm all of these things. And the warehouse theater still allows me to be an actor and a director and an artist, which isn't always a given once you choose certain things for your life. So for all of the times when I was able to bring my son with me to sit in the green room safely during a rehearsal, I'm so grateful to the Warehouse Theater for also being family. It is a place that I always feel completely safe to take the biggest risks. And it has the hugest payoff of magic, you know, and it's just a, a box. <laughs> this isn't a huge production for the most part. It's just really ingenious artists working their hardest and finding creative solutions that make magic possible. One of my most um, memorable experiences at the Warehouse Theater, uh, some as an actor when I played George and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and Joe Keller and All My Sons, and both of those roles happen to be opposite um, one of my great friends and an amazing actress, Mimi Weich. So um, working in rehearsal and in performance with Mimi is like being with your most trusted colleague. Uh, everything that happens comes from a place of honesty and uh, it's just such a comfortable and rewarding uh, place to be. And then um, I've had some amazing experiences directing at the Warehouse Theater, uh, particularly uh, comedies. Uh, the ones that come to mind are uh, Almost Maine and The 39 Steps and um, Christmas on the Rocks and Grace and Glory, working with, um, again, incredible artists who, who make their home in the upstate and, um, and make their artistic home at the Warehouse Theater. I think one of the most um, transformative experiences for me was being the interim artistic director for the warehouse uh, in its most recent change of leadership. And it was then that I really came to understand what an amazing staff the theater has. And all of the things that go into, uh, for instance, the education program and the touring uh, productions of Shakespeare and the, uh, the dedication and heart uh, behind the development uh, of donors and uh, corporate sponsors. And it, um, it just uh, deepened my uh, feelings of, of dedication to, to the warehouse. It's, it's the kind of theater that Greenville is so fortunate to have and has been so wonderful to support, particularly in the difficult times we now uh, find ourselves in. So um, here's to the Warehouse Theater. I hope it will be my artistic home uh, for many, many uh, decades to come. I'm Jason D. Johnson, Managing Director of the Warehouse Theater. In a normal year, the Warehouse would employ over 200 artists across our main stage tour and educational programs and impact over 30,000 lives throughout the region. And while the pandemic continues to prohibit our ability to produce on the main stage or travel on tour, we are still pressing forward with our educational and community engagement programs and creating virtual content that's providing work for artists and entertainment at home for you. Producing live theater under average conditions isn't cheap, but sustaining a professional theater organization during a pandemic is costly as well. The main stage has stopped for now, but it is our mission to continue to serve our community in all the ways we currently can and be ready to produce theater again when it is safe to do so. You can help us replace some of the $400,000 in earned revenue we've lost by giving tonight. Go to warehouse.givesmart.com and make a donation and sustain the Warehouse Theater through this pandemic and into the season ahead. Thank you. What the Warehouse means to me. 
Eh, you know, it's theater. It's kind of trivial. They've got a great location, though. They, when you think about that corner of Augusta and University, it's it could be such a good bar. I've worked all over the country, and while there are certainly bigger theaters out there with more money, there aren't any theaters out there that are run more professionally, more passionately, and with greater local impact than the Warehouse Theater. The Warehouse is a vital part of what makes Greenville special. The Warehouse is integral to the Greenville community. I mean, Upstate Shakespeare Festival, everything, they are just integral to what makes Greenville, Greenville. And it was founded on the principle that, that it could contribute to the health of the community. It's a very special thing that, uh, that you shouldn't take for granted in your community of Greenville. You know, I wish the Warehouse Theater was in Atlanta because uh, a lot of the work I do in Atlanta still does not touch what happens at Warehouse Theater. The, the challenging work, the rewarding work, um, the respect that Warehouse has for its audience, um, it's, it's a very rare thing uh, in a community. If you're watching this, you've probably seen shows at Warehouse and you know this. You know how lucky Greenville is to have the Warehouse and its work and how lucky Warehouse is to have a community like Greenville that supports and values that work. Pretty great community of theater makers and theater lovers. I can only say that I love the Warehouse and I anticipate its return uh, with even more uh, wonderful and glorious things than ever before. And that's my dog in the background and he agrees with me. I'm Jay Stromsis and I approve this message. Where do I, how do I stop this thing? I'm gonna eat your mitt. I'm okay, good. Thank Got you. you. That's what, that's Ann. Can't even. That's, that's my wife. Hi. Hi. I just want you to think about this. The, the theater scene throughout the country and the world has been decimated by the pandemic. But I think, I think the warehouse has a tough old girl. So I want you to pass in front of this theater as often as you can and look up at that wonderful marquee we have now. And some night you're going to come by and see opening tonight, the warehouse story, to be continued. And to all of the patrons out there who support the warehouse theater, thank you. I look forward to a time when I can be back at the warehouse helping to create art that is vital for our community and for this world that we live in. Thank you for being such an integral part of making art in Greenville and please stay safe and stay well. We're looking to see you sitting in one of our seats soon. And when I think of the warehouse theater, I think of empathy. I think all the shows that they put on are very integral in the way that they explain the human experience in a way that is going to reach all audiences. They teach, they taught me so much about what it's like to be human and what it's like to be in someone else's shoes and what it's like to experience the world from someone else's point of view. And I learned a lot about how I can approach other people and their situations and, and worlds that I probably wouldn't otherwise know. I learned how to empathize with people through the Warehouse Theater, both through the play that I was in and through watching other plays and talking to other people in the lobby, not just actors, not just directors, but just people who go to see the shows because Something about the performances they put on there and the way that everyone works together is just so embodying of what the human spirit really is and especially how powerful it can be when we all work together. And that's what I think about when I think of the Warehouse Theater. I think of empathy. Local stories and local artists matter a great deal to us at the Warehouse and I'm incredibly proud to have those artists call the Warehouse home. An enormous thank you to everyone who shared their stories with us. And speaking of local stories, this past January, we were fortunate enough to bring the Merrimack Rep world premiere of Lauren Gunderson's The Heath to the warehouse. Lauren's play takes us through an examination of her grandfather's life and her relationship with him. And when I first read the play, I got goosebumps when I realized that her grandfather was born and raised in South Carolina, 
just a few miles away from where I stand right now. Bringing a world premiere by one of the most produced playwrights in America that happens to be set in our backyard was very important to us. And those of you that were lucky enough to see it know how beautiful and powerful of a piece it was. For those of you that missed it, you're in luck. Lauren has graciously allowed us to share one of the songs with you. We are proud to have Miranda Barnett reprising her role of Lauren, performing the original song, Storm Still. Watching from Earth I should take to the sky.
It is impossible to capture everything we want to say about the warehouse and not be here for days or weeks. But I hope that the words, emotions, and first-hand accounts of what our theater means to our community have come through this evening. Your support of the warehouse is instrumental in helping us get through this difficult time, and I look forward to the next 47 years of intense, intimate, and unexpected theater here in Greenville. Truly, words can express how thankful we all are for all of you helping to expand our mission and outreach right now. Thank you for spending your time with us. On behalf of the entire staff, we just wanted to say, thank you. 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 From all of us in Greenville, to all of you wherever you are, be safe. And we hope we can see you again, or for the first time, very soon.